uh, Teo, you're turning into Mr. Versatile. We've seen you at left back. We've seen you in the holding midfield role against Sunderland. You play more of an, an attacking role. That must be great for you that you can play in numerous positions and feel the manager feels that he can trust you in those positions. Yeah, it's big. I think the situation that the team is going through in terms of um, injuries and having to switch up every now and again, so, um, some cases of COVID, I'm going to be needed throughout the team, a bit of versatility. I'm, I'm happy that I was getting the trust from the manager to play a different position. And how did that role against Sunderland suit you? Because as you say, we've not seen a lot of you going forward in terms of uh, from the midfield area. I think it just gave me a bit more freedom, having Brick up, um, sort of sitting behind me and Connor, uh, just a bit more freedom to go forward and maybe take more risks with the ball and um, with runs in behind us, stuff like that. It's been a season where you've got a lot of football, more football than you've had in your career. How much do you feel you're benefiting from that? Um, obviously, just enjoying, just being able to enjoy football. Uh, you perform better naturally, um, getting the games and you build experience and, and it just lets you go out there and just express yourself more. And you played at this level before, but having, you know, having that another season now with this under your belt, are you finding that League One life is, is easier than you thought or more difficult than you thought? Um, definitely something that I'm capable of doing. I wouldn't say easy or, or hard. I don't know what I'm putting it down to, but I'd say um, like as, I, as, as I get the games in, it's something that I'm more and more, more comfortable with and um, I feel like I'm ready for a new challenge. And we're heading into the, the final run-in now. It's a busy load of games coming up once again after we get past this week. Are you looking forward to that, to heading towards the end now with a lot to play for? Yeah, of course. We've given ourselves a, a great chance this season. Obviously, the start that we had, um, we're coming off the back of a spell that wasn't so good. But I, I guess the performance against Sunderland has showed that we've still got more in us. And if we take that sort of form into our next few games, um, it's going to be exciting into the season. It's very rare you get a, a season where no team has a, a slip up a long route. Do you think that actually it was good to get that spell out of the way now before you're heading to this last few games? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You want to finish strong. And um, I guess it's just sort of woken us up and just shown us that look, there's still a lot of work to be done before the end of the season. Uh, now, you're on telly on, on Friday night. Is that really exciting as a footballer, as someone who would have grown up watching your teams play on telly and, and being involved in and around, obviously, Fulham, who have a lot of games on the telly? Is it exciting to, for you to be playing on the telly? Yeah, of course. It just gives you a chance to sort of showcase and um, just show uh, the league and the other other fans what um, what you're capable of as an individual and as, as a team. We know we're a good team and yeah, it gives us a chance to show, show it. And obviously you've scored on telly this season as well with the, the Liverpool game. Do your family and friends all watch? Do they keep an eye on how you're getting on? And do you do you yeah, have something planned in case uh, you score again on uh, Friday? Um, I don't really have a plan, like a celebration or anything, but no, my family are so supportive and yeah, they're, they're, I'm sure they will be watching if they can get access to the game, yeah. And is that nice as well with this season when you've not been able to get family and friends to games as they usually would, that the fact that they can still watch you? Yeah, um, obviously with the I follow and stuff, my family tune in. Um, I think it's a good thing to have. And not only just for family, but for the fans, it just keeps the support going. And how would you treat your Saturday afternoon without a game? How are you? What's your plans? Are you someone who switches off from football or is it just football all day still on a Saturday? Um, I usually just, just rest up. If there's matches on, I'll, I'll try and watch matches. But yeah, I usually just get a rest. And overall, for the morale of the squad, how are things at the moment? It's, it's a, a great game on Friday. Some great games coming up as well. Some big teams coming up as well. It must be an exciting place to, to come into work. Yeah, of course. And I think it's just about stepping up to the challenges at this point. It's like we, we know how good we can be, but we're getting asked questions. And it's just whether or not we're going to crumble or just or face up to them and really go head on and, and um, go and answer the questions. Yeah. I saw your tweet earlier in the week about the, the racist abuse that Fred received uh, at the weekend. I mean, how, how exasperating is it for you that we're still seeing so many cases of this? Uh, of course, it's very frustrating. Um, I think the thing that triggered me on that day was literally, like, I, I feel like it's literally every single time I open Twitter, it will literally be Sky Sports and a new name and just the rest of it is exactly the same. It's just a new, a new person receiving the abuse. It's frustrating and I think something needs to be done. Um, I don't have the answers, but I just feel like we know there's a problem and something needs to be done, definitely. Yeah, I mean, that's the issue. What what can be done? Is it the social media companies need to do more? Um, uh, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's part of, part of um, everyone's got to 
putting um, putting their input and and to to resolve the problem. Um, it's it's no good just noticing the issue and everyone relying on every um, everyone else to to deal with the problem. We've all got to take responsibility and come together and try and deal with the issue together. Have you suffered it yourself? No, I haven't. No. No, but you must have known people who have. Um, yeah, I do actually. Um, yeah. But yes, as I said, like regardless if it's me or or someone else or people that I don't know, it's just it just hurts to see it still happening. Yeah. And of course, like I'm not gonna wait until it happens to me to to try and act on it or try and try and make a a stand against it. I know that it could happen any day, and um, it's it's just not fair on the people that it's happening to or people that have to see it happening and know that this could be me one day. Yeah. Um, well said, mate. Um, moving on, what do you make of Oxford tomorrow? Um, a very tough game. And does it have a bearing, do you think, that they've had a game on Tuesday? Um, yeah, potentially. Of course, the, the schedule's been crazy this season and over the last few months. Um, luckily, we've had a chance to rest between games. Um, so, of Sunderland until now, we've had a bit of a longer rest. But um, I do think that counts, the extra couple of days of rest. Um, of course, we're still going to expect a, a good performance from them because they're a good side. And they've, they've still got a lot to play for this season. But, um, yeah, I guess we've got to show a lot of energy given the amount of days we've had off. Yeah, you mentioned the um, of games you've had recently. Do you feel you really benefited from not having a Tuesday game this week? How, how's the body bearing up? Yes, it's given us a chance to rest up um, a bit and just, you know, just sort of take it easy into this next game and just sort of... Um, actually get some training in because we haven't really been training really up until this week because mm. it's just the games have been coming so thick and fast. But yeah, this has given us a chance to um yeah just take a step back a bit.